Hey guys, I just started my job about three weeks ago and I've been swallowed up by work. I've never had a job that ate up this much of my focus and mental energy before. I have to focus on learning everything, I have to focus on what I'm doing, and I have to focus on ensuring I maintain good social rapport with my fellow new employees. On top of that, I'm paying attention to diet and exercise so I can lose weight, which has been pretty successful. What I come home... oh. When I come home, my brain space is entirely used up, and the last thing I want to do is think about making videos. Luckily for me, we only work a 40-hour week, and the weekend we got a four-day weekend because of the fucking Super Bowl traffic here in Indy was not going to happen. Um, I've never before spent so much mental energy on a job, as I said before, partly because the job was not challenging, partly because I usually dislike the job, and partly because Asperger's in the, uh, in the social realm just didn't exist. I, did, I, I was ignorant of the social realm and never maintained it. I would go on automatic and avoid people and spend time lost in thought, philosophizing, and hypothesizing. Uh, then I started YouTube and began thinking up scripts and topics. So for the first time ever, I'll be focusing a lot more energy on my job than my videos. My book uh, may also take longer to put out than before, so if I go for a week without putting out videos, don't panic. I'm just trying to wow my bosses, which luckily for me, they already are because I guess aseptic technique is not a skill that's ubiquitous throughout the biological community, but it's taught from day one in the microbiology field. I'm doing things on my own already that it took most people four weeks before our boss felt safe for them to work on it on their own. But this job has also made me realize why so many people hold many religious and not well thought out beliefs so closely. They don't have the mental energy to do so. In the US, working hard and making money is idealized and the most important thing. Most people are working hard to do just that. They're giving most of their mental power to do it. I came from the first generation that began rejecting the idealization of money. Fight Club was the counterpoint to the ideal of money as everything. Learning for the sake of learning and thinking for the sake of thinking was what I would do, and I had the luxury to do them, fortunately, because we weren't in the middle of a recession. Of course, sadly, it made my grades less than they could have been, uh, since I wasn't single-mindedly focused on it. I had no friends and no chance with women, so I didn't have a reason to focus on school as much either during my co early college years. Life isn't worth living alone. I spent my college years overloading my mental school schedule on learning to be social in the school of hard knocks. I also used my school time to study up on politics and religion, breaking them down to their smallest part, trying every option. Problem is, after I graduated, I maintained these habits just as a recession occurred. In the long run, I'm glad I did. I have loved friends and great experiences, but I could have done much better at my job, but I didn't have a reason to. Now I have a good future to look forward to if I work hard at my job. I have an above average IQ, but definitely not a genius one. I would always judge people with higher IQs than myself for not using their brain more to contemplate politics, religion, and ways to tackle social ills. It was not a priority for them. Their priority was to enjoy their life, be good at their job, and make money. They also used their brain to be social. Being unable to be social, I never contemplated how much brain energy that uses. Unless you're similar to me, being social is what your brain evolved to focus the most on. It's why it evolved to be as smart as it is. Almost all else is just a positive side effect. I can only imagine someone with a lower IQ than myself trying to be good at their job and be social and trying to think as much as I did. It wouldn't happen. Just doing their job and being social takes up all of their brain space for the day. The last thing they want to do when they get home from their job is pay attention to politics or question their belief system. They just want to zone out and do something community building like watching the game or going to church. The U.S. is viewed as stupid by much of the world, but it's because we've worked like pack animals with an unrealistic carrot of money and happiness from that money and independence hanging in our face to keep us solely focused on a prize that never comes. Europe doesn't work nearly as hard, but they don't have to. They're working smarter, using labor research to get the most efficiency out of their people by not exhausting them. They also don't believe that money grants happiness, lowering their expectations in their own future, being content with what they have, and living longer lives with less stress and anxiety. 
Europe is constantly dropping in their levels of religion, and they have documentaries that aren't dumbed down like in the U.S. and are complex. They're much more politically active and are better informed. In the U.S., if one of us does work and strikes it lucky to get rich, they often don't have the philosophical platform needed to self-reflect on what they now do with the fortune or power in an ethical way. The rush of being rich often now raises their expectations even more, and they can't be content or happy and have to work harder to be richer by any means, even as it's completely unethical, finding the works of Ayn Rand compelling. The single motivation of money is what causes religion to prosper. It lets general ignorance abound, lets them be okay with stripping labor, education, and infrastructure spending because they aren't directly perceived as generating money. The sole focus on money caused America to be exhausted and stupidly buy into debt they didn't have any way of paying off. It was why Eisenhower was for universal health care and other modern considered liberal notions. He saw firsthand what happened when a population was scared to death of poverty and desperate for a way out. They elected Hitler, possibly one of the first uses of Godwin's law ever. As Princess Leia said to a libertarian, if money is all that's important to you, then that's what you'll receive. Your friend is quite a mercenary. I wonder if he cares about anything or anyone. I'm lucky. I have a framework and mental training that still gets pleasure out of politics and science research, even if I'm mentally exhausted, but many don't. I can't really blame them for not questioning and researching their religion, considering at least, if not more than three-fourths of my lab, is very religious. Had I come to this job religious, my chances of losing it would have probably been very low. Mind you, hopefully the mental energy needed will drop a bit in the next few months after I'm trained up, but it will still distract me from video making, especially if I take up teaching another class like I hope to do. So be patient, I'll still be making videos, but they may take a little longer to make. I'll not drop off the face of the planet like many of the big names have. Being around a mostly Christian workforce has already resurrected some ideas for future videos I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. This also may make my book take longer to write because I won't have the mental energy to work on it. Um, I'll probably be doing another video on this from a more Asperger's angle and less a political religious angle. So, um, just just working with the with the white collar group and the professional group versus versus more of my background. So take care, and I will see you as soon as I have the mental energy to do so. Uh, talk to you later. Oh, uh, one more thing. Um, Sunday, February nineteenth, uh, Divinity three three seven two is going to make a uh, be doing a blog TV. It will be a charity event for St James Infirmary which is a no-questions-asked uh, hospital charity for sex workers. So, um, whether they're, they come in battered bruised, whether they come in um, just looking for preventative care, it's a great charity to give to. I may or may not be there. I might be mentally exhausted, like I said before. But, here, uh, definitely show up if you have the time and energy. Thank you. Bye.